Hello dear students welcome to pen and paper chemistry on youtube where we have been dealing with topics on organic inorganic and physical chemistry and we only seek your assistance in getting your pen and paper ready so that you can have a good learning time today's topic is amines so let's get going with the preparation properties and uses of amines so let us first define and understand what are amines as the name indicates these are derivatives of ammonia ammonia is nh3 you replace one hydrogen atom by an alkyl or aryl group and you have a primary amine when i say alkyl or aryl that means i can have an aromatic ring as well attached to the nh2 if i replace two of the hydrogen atoms by an alkyl or aryl group in that case we call it as a secondary amine we are not going into the further details of aryl if i replace all three hydrogen atoms by an alkyl group or an aryl group we will have what we call as a tertiary amine interestingly there is a fourth category what we call as the quaternary ammonium salts we shall be talking about that a little later so we say amines are nothing but derivatives of ammonia where in one two or all three hydrogen atoms of nh3 are replaced by an alkyl or aryl group so we've start with ammonia rnh2 one hydrogen replaced and look at the functional group over here it's nh2 you have to be careful about the functional group nh if you see the functional group is nh that means it's a secondary amine if you see that there is only one nitrogen with three alkyl groups or aryl groups attached to it then it is a tertiary amine so we have three categories over here now if you replace the hydrogen by alkyl group like we see in the case of this primary amine then of course they are called as alkyl amines if on the other hand you replace the hydrogen by an aryl group then in that case it would be called as an aryl amine so amines can be classified as alkyl amines or aryl amines amines can also be classified as primary secondary or tertiary another way of classifying amines is simple and mixed look at the structures that i am pointing out so this is a simple amine whereas this is a mixed amine so if you look carefully you would be able to make out the difference between a simple and a mixed amine can you figure it out what is the difference yes if the alkyl or the aryl groups are the same so meaning to say if i have two alkyl groups so if i have ch3 ch3 nh now this is an example of a simple amine on the other hand if i have c6h5 ch3 and an a and h so you see the two groups over here which are substituting the hydrogen atom are different they could also be c2h5 nh and ch3 over here in that case also it would be called as a mixed amine so we have simple amine when the alkyl or aryl groups are same and mixed amine when the alkyl or aryl groups are different so what you have to do is you have to mark out of these so r n h2 is it a simple or a mixed amine correct it's a simple amine r2 n h simple r3 n simple c6 h5 nh2 yes aromatic ring yes again it's a simple amine 
but if you have benzene as well as methyl or benzene as well as alkyl here here these are all examples of mixed amines so if you are asked to classify this kind of an amine first of all it's a secondary amine both the substituted groups are alkyls so it's an alkyl amine and again since the two alkyl groups are different we call it as a mixed amine in part 2 of this video we shall be discussing the structure of amines so don't forget to keep your pen and paper along with you while watching this video to derive maximum benefit out of it see you in part 2